and I are coming to say hi from my little corner of West Texas here in this little bedroom craft room. And I just put a real quick clip at the beginning of this video of showing you my hair is kind of a mess this morning. Forgive me. It is what it is, right? That's what my daughter, sweet little daughter always says. It is what it is. She has a chronic, chronic disease and she has a positive outlook and a positive attitude, so if she can go through chronic problems, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is here, too. So, I just wanted to show you my sweater. I finished it this morning. It's about 10 o'clock here uh, in my little corner of West Texas, and I finished it this morning. I weaved in all my ends. I love the way it fits. Let me show you again. I just love it. I love the color. I love it fits well. It's warm, but it's not real heavy. I like the length of the sleeves. When I got down to, I did the chain one for uh, eight rows. And then I did the leave out the chain one between the granny stitches for the next eight rows. So I have eight rows of the single crochet in between the granny stitches and the last eight. I took it out and I think it worked good. So if y'all are thinking about that, do it. It works. Okay, I want to say a big shout out to Amanda from Tent Mama and the Beg Brigade. I want to thank you for the shout out and I want to thank you for all my new subscribers and I hope that you will enjoy my series of videos. And I hope to be bringing you new content. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you so much. Leave me a comment if you would. I would love to get to know you. A few of you already have. And hi and welcome. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I have the problem now. I gotta start a new project, right? I finished this one. And I have to have something on my hook. So, here is the beginning of the hippopotamus that I said I was going to start next. Now I'm using these prim hooks. They seem to be working well. So I've tried some different ones. I've tried my uh, Furl's uh, Odyssey and it does work well, but Oliver, stop that. <laughs> He's up here with me. He's been very clingy lately. He wants to sleep in my lap, be where I am. I mean, he's just my little buddy, so that's okay. That's okay, isn't it? So, um, this is some of the yarn that, here it is. Well, here it is right here. We, yeah, this is the only one of these I have. And I know y'all know Hobby Lobby, and I love this yarn, and that's exactly what this is. And I'll tell you the stats, but I'm sure all of y'all know what it is. Uh, it's 100% acrylic. Yay. It's 355 yards, yay again, and it's 7 ounces, and 325 meters, and 199 grams, and it wants a 5.5 crochet hook, and if you're going to knit, it wants a 5 knitting needles, size 5 millimeter knitting needles. Well, folks, I'm using this little 3.5 because this is an amigurumi, and I want my stitches small. So that's what I'm doing. And I had these other yarns to choose from. I just went in there. My husband was waiting in the car. I was just <laughs> trying to video. And I did video. And like I told you in my last video, they was playing music and they was talking over the loudspeakers. And that wasn't going to work. So, okay. So I was just, I was in a hurry, what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I got, oh, this. Let me tell you the colorway. Amethyst, and I'm sure y'all know all about this yarn because I've heard many of y'all talk about the I love this yarn. I've never had any. This is my first experience with this. So, I'll tell you what I think of it after I get going. This is my second color, and same stats, of course, and this colorway is Hot Orchid. And I think Llama Mama Kayla had used some of this in her Mandela blanket that I watched her work on last year. Okay, so I have this one. Well, actually, I have two of these. 
and I thought they were different. I was in a hurry. I saw one this slot and one of the slot as I was leaving, and I grabbed another one thinking it was different. And when I got up to the checkout counter, I said, oh, well, I want them both. And then this is my last colorway. This is Mixed Berry. Same stats. I love this yarn. And I just have one of these, too. And the total of this came to $15 and some change because it was uh, in the 30% off week. So, I have something else to say about yarn before we get started. Well, before we get started started, I would like to invite you, if you haven't, to hit the subscribe button. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. And if I... Uh, <laughs> putting out good videos, please come back and visit me, okay? Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me get to know you. Okay. So I wanted to... Where did that yarn go? I'm sorry. I have it sitting right here. Okay, I have it. I want to tell you... I want to say something about this yarn that I recommended weeks ago. This is a three-weight. This is the Pioneer Woman... Uh, it's a three light, three lightweight. You can wash it and dry it. It's 100% acrylic. It's very soft. But now that I've made two projects with it, I made that big corner to corner blanket. <laughs> Excuse me, my allergies. And, uh, I didn't have to really frog it out because when I was making that blanket, I had already figured out the pattern and I, I could just go, okay? So I made that blanket, and I made this little lizard, the iguana. His head is made out of that. Now, I had to rip this out about three times because I was making mistakes, just learning. It doesn't, it doesn't frog well. It doesn't frog well. So since I didn't frog on the corner-to-corner -corner blanket, I just started going, and I never had to frog I didn't have any experience with that, but I want y'all to know that this yarn does not frog well. So I have three more skeins of this, and I, 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 I'll use it, but I'm just letting you know, if you're on the fence, the Premier Basic, I used them both in here. This is Premier Basic. This is Pioneer Woman. This is a dream to work with. Although it was rough on my fingers, I figured out any yarn is rough on my fingers because my skin must be getting thinner as I get older. But I don't know what it is. It never did that years ago, but that was years ago. And I've changed a little bit in my composition, in my body. So it's probably just me. Because three-weight yarn does it to my fingers, too. So, I'm just going to either have to quit crocheting, which I'm not going to do. Or, wear a glove, which probably will do. And use that new skin to try to protect my fingers. Because it's where I grab the yarn with my left hand. And I hold my yarn like this. These three fingers. And then, I, cr and I put the yarn over this finger and then I crochet, but I'm always holding, wiggling the, these fingers on this yarn. <sighs> I talked a lot already. Okay, I'm just saying. I don't want to keep boring you with that, but that, that that's what I've come to the conclusion. I have a problem. It isn't the yarn. Sorry, Premier. It's not wick, moisture wicking yarn, like I said before. It's just good yarn. It's just me. Okay, so that's my little spill on the yarn. Okay, so I'm going to turn this light on over here. Yay. And I'm going to turn y'all around, and I'm going to do a little crochet and chat uh, to end my, to the, for the last part of this video. Oh, and did you notice on my, my last video, I finally figured out how to insert text? I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't know. I had to uh, get my computer here and get my phone here and do a tutorial off my phone and figure out here on my computer how to do it. But it seems like I'm always learning something new in this adventure. Okay, let me turn you around here. Oh, <laughs> I'm not 
you off the stand. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? Let me come right back, folks. Okay, folks, I had to dig in my bag of tricks. Oh yeah. <laughs> to get another stand out for this camera. It broke. The one I had broke. Oh, I'm sad. See this little little thing at the end? This it broke off up in here. I guess dropping you that many times isn't good. <laughs> I guess so. Alright, well it hold on a second. Now this didn't want to stay up here. Okay. Oh no. I'm gonna have to edit this out, folks. This is a mess. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, let's turn you around. All right. Yeah, that little, uh, that little deal breaking is not good. I, had to, I, I, I have a lot of attachments in this little case. And I had to go in here and find one that would work. So, I did. I did. It's okay. It's okay, and I'm probably going to edit that out. And that's okay, too. Okay? So, let's get on what I was talking about. I don't think I started talking about anything. Except I'm excited to have this yarn and to be starting a new project. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look what I did. I may be, I may be gonna ruin this book, but I just pushed it down real hard when I opened the page I wanted, and now it stays open, and I'm probably gonna regret it, but, you know, if it messes up the binding, I'm gonna take it to Office Depot and just get them to spiral bind it. You know, you can do that. I don't know what it cost, but it's an option. <laughs> Okay, well, we don't have any plans today. I had to go back to the pharmacy yesterday, CBS, the drive through Whoops, that's supposed to be a single crochet. Hold on, folks, the cat wants in. See, yesterday. All right, edit, edit, edit. Okay, folks, I'm back. <laughs> Minor technical difficulties in my little corner of West Texas this morning. I don't know why in the world I keep getting a loop in here. Maybe I just need to tighten it up. So I've made my magic loop now, folks. I've made my magic loop. And I've joined my single crochets. And now I'm going to put another single crochet in my first chain one. Now what it wants me to do is put two double crochets in each, each chain around here. So... That's what I'm doing. I'm just starting this out with my prim hooks. Like I said, they work well for this. Or they seem to now. I don't know. I seem like I had trouble with them, but I'm not having any trouble with them anymore. It seemed like the yarn was the cause of my fingers, but that's not it. So I don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here on my channel. Well, I'm new. I'm new to crochet. I'm new to YouTube, but I'm new to crochet, too. I wanted to learn how to knit socks, and so I taught myself how to do that. Whoops, that's a double crochet. I wanted to know how to crochet a cardigan, so I taught myself that. I wanted to know how to use an editor, find and use an editor. I taught myself that. Taught myself to make sweaters. I think, I don't know. Do you think I could be growing new brain cells? 
I'm hoping. Is that possible? Scientifically? I hope so. <laughs> oh, I need some new ones. Or restoration of the old ones I have. So, yesterday afternoon, when I got home from running around that I had to do, I didn't do much. I fixed my husband some chicken wings and air fryer. I fixed myself a salad for dinner. Folks, I got to get this. Now, Now, last time I was at the doctor, I have eight pounds to get off. So, I got to get that off. Speaking of weight loss, Amanda at Tap Mama and the Beck Brigade. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for the shout out again. And girl, I'm so glad you're getting your weight loss surgery. You need to do everything you can at the age you are now to ensure some longevity in your life and health. Because that weight can take a toll on your organs. And girl, you got to be around for Johnny. Well, for Will too, but you got to be around, be around for your kids and potential grandkids. You can't, you can't be leaving this world too soon. And if you can't invest in your own health, what can you invest in, right? I am so glad that they worked all that out. Miss Amanda, and you're going to get your surgery. I'm so thankful to God for you. And everybody out here in YouTube land loves you, including me. So, yay for Amanda. Okay, so back to this little... This is the hippopotamus. Yep, let me let you take a look at him again. That's my hippopotamus. And it looks like I got the color close, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, I really don't have anything else this morning. I just wanted to basically show you my sweater. And I showed it to you two times. I want to show you my new project. And tell you, I made the, I made the magic ring for this thing. Now, Miss Amanda, you can make that magic ring. You just get on there and get you a tutorial and just keep practicing. And you don't have to have one. I didn't have one with this sweater that I'm just finished. But when I got to the amigurumis, I had tried like you a few times, and I just kept messing it up. And I just made my mind up, girl. I was going to learn. So you just make your mind up and get you a magic ring going over there. Once you get it down, it's easier, really. Nothing magic really about it. It's pretty easy to do. So, okay, this is my project for the day. That's my yarn. Come back over here to me. I think I like this new little stand for the camera, actually. Maybe I'm glad the other one broke. <laughs> no, I'm not really. I'm not glad. I'm not at all glad. But, but it... This works fine. So, folks, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm going to chill out here. Am I cutting off the top of my head? Hopefully I'm not. I'm going to chill out here in my little corner in West Texas, work on my hippopotamus, uh, watch some YouTube videos. i got to put on some lunch for us here pretty soon. And I'll catch you on the next reel. Okay, folks. Well, welcome to everybody. Thank you so much for your subscription. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment. I do love those so much. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time from my little corner of West Texas here in my little craft room. My folks and my new folks and my old folks. It's a wrap. Bye now.